Hey guys, Reno here! Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Now in the last episode, so spoiler if you missed it, Ground and Kyogre released back into the world. It's currently stalled right in the middle of a heatwave because the weather changes about every battle pretty much. And we had to try and find the Sky Pillar. But I couldn't find it last time, but we're here now. And in the in the meantime of getting very lost, I ended up getting quite a few levels on the guy, so I thought I'm stuck out here in the, in the ocean, so I might as well train anyway. So let's have a look through my team that I'll be taking into today. Up front, we have Tap, the level 49 Flygon with Crunch, Fly, Fate Attack, and Dragon Breath. And then we have level 48, more the Azumarill, and she's got a dive roll out of Surf Double Edge. Then Dodge, my shiny Survivor, level 48. With Strength Crunch, Haze and Poison Tail. Then my boy, Thunder, level 49 Mighty Enna. With Shadow Ball, Rock Smash, Tika Power and Crunch because he learned Crunch during the level up so I just replaced that with place, replaced Bite. And then we have the powerhouse of the team, Arrow the Aggro, level 49. With Roll Out, Shock Wave, Metal Claw and Headbutt. Then we have Trekkie, my starter, level 50 Sceptile with Dynamic Punch, fl Flash, Leaf Blade and Cut. And I think I need to do a bit of swapping around. No, everyone's, yeah, level 49, so I need to switch with... I want to get Dodge up front, because her and Mora are the two lowest levels at the minute. With Trekkie being the most, that's why he's at the bottom for now. Now then, into the Sky Pillar we go. Any encounters going to be in here? I don't know, but we should be meeting that Captain guy. Yep, I'm right on cue. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I'd left you behind. I opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Breno, let's be on our way. The door is open? It's an earthquake! Okay, we're getting EQs now as well. It's not a moment to waste, we've got to hurry. As we nonchalantly walk into the Sky Pillar. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't good. And the weather's changed again. The weather distortion is spreading, even here. Reno. Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Sutopolis. I've got to get got to get back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail. Oh, you're trusting me with the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza. I see, but wait, is my that text speed seems rather slow. There you go, text speed, there you go, put it back on put it on fast. Don't know if that why that changed, but anyway. Into the Sky Pillar. I'm guessing there's a staircase. Yes, there is, but there's also a wild encounter. And the first encounter of the day, in here at least anyway, is going to be a Burnett. Okay, level 38. So if the wild Pokemon are only 10 levels low, then I think I'm in the right place doing a bit of uh, grinding on screen. Okay, it doesn't affect Burnett. Understood. Sprite. Okay, so we're getting some Lemonade. Dodge's strength was reduced by 3. That's not nice. How about a Crunch? You like a crunch bonnet? No, you don't like it. And the bonnet is no more. 1000 XP, not bad. I think you go straight up these next stairs. And oh, okay. There's a way around here, but another wily kind of first, though. What's it going to be? Is it another bonnet or is it another ghost? Oh, clay doll. Big boy. Now then, how much does a strength do to a Claydol? Does it, it lived? Ancient power! And that did nothing. Another strength. Oh, it lived again. self destruct It's not living anymore. And dodge! Dodge tank the self-destruct. Nice one, dodge. But now that doesn't mean I have to heal, though. So I'll go into my bag. And I have a lot of fresh water because, you know, healthiness. Where are my waters at? There we go, fresh water. 16 of these, that's perfectly fine. And Dodge can just go and gulp two bottles of water. Right, can I get up the stairs this way? Yes, I can. Go to the rocks, don't block that bit. But the rocks are now blocking this middle bit here. But I'm going to get all of the. Huh? Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Okay, now I'm in the middle. Got it. And this is the way up, I'm guessing, then. Very confusing tower. 
Now I've got to run all the way around here again. And there's another encounter. What, what, is it going to be another ghost this time? Or is it going to be another big boy Claydol? It's another big boy. Right then. Let's go, Dodge. You seen what they can do before? You can tank it. You can do it again. How much does the poison tail do? If anything. Not a lot. Understood. And we're going for the self-destruction again. And Dodge tanks it once again. Dodge the tank. Another thousand XP, let's go, from doing literally nothing apart from wasting my items. And then let's go for another fresh water. Get that health back up, 110. And I'll go all the way again, because I don't know if we have to fight Rayquaza or not. I'm kind of hoping we don't. But then if we do have to fight him, I can try and catch it, so... Maybe it is here after all. How many floors is this tower, though? I think that was four floors. Hello, Rayquaza! Kind of short. At least from this view anyway. Oh, this tower is just massive. And Rayquaza is gone. Rayquaza awakened and flew off. Right. So there's nothing else here. Do I now go back to Sutopolis? And let's tap. Let's fly back to Sutopolis and find out. Because while it's already left, I guess this is where we need to be. Is this where we need to be? Those two are still fighting. Is Rayquaza going to stop them now? They're still going at it. It's still pretty even despite the rain. So Gradon should have the disadvantage here. Oh, here's Rayquaza. Just uh, using Dragon Breath by the looks of it. Okay, uh, Rayquaza is descending from heaven. What's Rayquaza going to do? He's going to use a, uh, a super attack on both of them. It stopped them once before. Is it going to stop them again? Is it just going to make them run away? Okay, they're slowly backing. Grano's like, nope, I'm not having any of this. I'm out of here. And goodbye, Rayquaza. Okay. Game? Is this meant to be happening? Okay, we're back. I thought it had frozen for a sec there. What, what, what? What was that green Pokemon? That was a Rayquaza. Oh, it was you who brought that flying Pokemon here. Well, aren't you just amazing? Thank you very much. And now then, Maxi and Archie, what do you got to say for yourselves? That's... So, the super ancient Pokemon weren't any Garden and Kyogre. After our fruitless scheming efforts, scheming frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple actions put everything right. Again, if nothing had happened. <laughs> Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows where. We're in home has returned to a normal state. <laughs> Maybe what we were trying to do was small and even meaningless to Pokemon. Uh, goodbye. Wallace, Reno, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Topless. No, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift for me, please. Accept it. Obtained HMO7, which is... Hey, she contains Waterfall. If you obtain the Rain Badge, your Pokemon that learn the move can use it to fly up waterfalls. And where does the Rain Badge come from? You know, you don't know. That's right. You have met the Sutopolis Gym Leader. Well, aren't you all set to go? Just go through that door. Isn't that right, Steven? It looks like you and Ma It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've both gone to Mount Pai and returned to the orbs. I highly doubt it. But into the gymnasium. How's it going, champion Dan Renner? So top of gym leader, Juan, is a master of water type Pokemon. And to get to Juan, the icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all the advice I've got for you. The rest of you have to figure it out for yourself. Okay, so all oh, the ice breaks after you step on it. If you stay there for too long, you fall through the floor. And into a battle! I'll show you sublime techniques I've learned from Gym Leader Juan. Okay, what have you learnt then? Uh, Lass. Andrea. Gonna love this level 40. Okay. So I'm only 8 levels higher than the the, uh, the trainers in here. So once again, I think leveling up was the right thing to do. Flail. Flail to damage. I'm gonna crunch it. Goodbye, love disc. 
A goodbye little critical hit, Dodge ain't messing about recently. Another thousand XP nearly, pretty good. Please forgive me, Juan. Not a lot of money though, but that's alright. And what have you got? You got anything better? I should teach you how harsh battles can be. I'm gonna teach you to find the nearest Pokemon Center, which is just over the over the uh, the pond. Oh, and Carney, what have you got? You got a Goldie. And then Dodge. Let's let's use the Poison Tail on the Goldie. Have you one shot it? Not quite. Okay, he's getting horny. Understood. Let's get rid of the Poison Tail. Goodbye, Goldeen. 951 XP, not even bad. Oh, you're strong. I'll show you the meaning of battle. You gave me a lot of money, I, I'm grateful for that. Right, so I'll go back up the ladder. So I can't stop on the ice. Understood. Why did I fall through it again? Excuse me? Why did that happen? Can I not just walk straight over the ice? No? Huh. Okay, so I've got to take a different route, it seems, around the ice. No? Am I doing something wrong here? I am confused. Do I have to use every square of ice first to get there? Oh, I do. Got it. So I've got to use all of the ice. Okay, so I've got to walk around this way. Oh, I walked over the wrong one again. Doing this on keyboard is a little bit annoying. I'll battle you though while I'm here. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you'd like. How rare are your Pokemon? Please, pray tell. Pokemon fan Anika set out a Phoebus. I've not seen a Phoebus yet, so that is actually kind of rare. I'm unaware if it can attack me though, but can you take the strength? It cannot take the strength. I am too strong. 500 XP, not bad. Another Phoebus. I will change into Arrow. Get some easy XP on my boy. Because him being a big boy, he just take, he's the one that takes the longest to level up. Alright then, let's go for a Metal Claw. See if we can one-shot this as well. Yes, we can. Not very effective. Didn't even matter in the end. Didn't even matter. Oh. Oh, there now. You have some good luck at my Pokemon? I did have a good look at your Phoebuses. Or was it Phoebe? I battle you while I'm here and all, though. A sight of one conducting a battle. The very beauty of it compelled me to become a trainer. Alright, let's see your training skills. Let's see if you're indeed a skilled trainer. What are you going to send out? A love disc. Okay, love disc still looking off coloured. And let's go for a crunch. If a sweet kiss. Love just became confused. Affection apparently confuses Dodge. Understood? Dodge used the crunch. Can we one shot the love disc? Not quite. But I'll go for a poison tail next. Full restores. Okay. I see where you're coming from. You're learning from one. Okay. Getting your healing items coming out. I had it something confusion. No. Will a haze clear this though? What a pulse? Okay. This is the most offense a love disc has ever got off. Dodge is confused. Damn it, Dodge, come on. Bring it for a flail, that's gonna do nothing. Dodge, come on. Snap out of it, Dodge. Use the haze. Yes. That should clear everything. All statues were eliminated. Okay, now then. Let's go for a crunch. Dodge out of confusion, even better. Go for the crunch. Come on. And we get the uh, special defense fell, even better. For the flail. That's going to do not a lot. Poison tail, finish it off. Finish it with poison tail. Come on, dodge. There we go. That was a hard battle. GG. I'm changing XP, that's what I like to see. Another love disc. Yes, I will change. I will change into my boy. Come on, Thunder. First time out of today. Let's go. I'm going to get the Intimidate as well, even better. Now then, what should we do? Let's go for it. What does the secret power do in here? Takedown, and it missed. 
How do I get taken down by a fish? By the fish. It almost one shot it. Not bad. Rock smash should finish it. Attract. Okay. Thunder is in love with the love disc. Thunder fell in love. But it refused to attack. Thunder is immobilized by love. Damn it, stop simping, Thunder. You're better than this. Come on, Thunder. Come on. You can do it, my boy. Yes, Thunder. You love them that much, you punch them in the face with rocks. Good one. 918 XP, not bad. You battled with more beauty than I could master. $8,000. Yes, go. Yes, go. That was yes, please, and let's go into mixed into one. I, I don't want to use hyper potions yet. Revival herbs, energy roots. Yeah, I've got a lot. That's gonna. I'm just gonna uh, burn out my waters. And right, let's use it on uh, on dodge. 100 X back up to 100. Use it again. I'll go and heal before the main battle run. Just don't want to keep running backwards and forwards for now. And back it we go. And this is difficult on keyboard. And my is on emulator, so... Gotta... I can stand on each one. I just have to keep tapping it. There we go, forward and round. Getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. And we is there. How do I do this one? Okay, I think I'm seeing the route. So it's all the way to the outside first. Fill up the corner. Down. And fill up these gaps. Round the rocks. Leaving that one there for last. Down round here. I'm glad that it doesn't, you don't fall immediately off. This is, this is keyboard friendly. I, I, I approve. Can't stay there for too long though. And the last one. And we've made it! And that, I know it's a shorter episode, but that is one of the lead things today. I think Rayquaza needs to be in the thumbnail, and we can battle, battle Juan next time, so. If you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Emerald, then leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell, so you don't any future videos. You can be follow on Twitter and Instagram, don't much appreciate the link in the description down below, so you can keep up to date on future videos, as well as my Pokemon card collection, because you're watching this anyway, so I do be an enjoyer of the shiny cardboard, so updates to my collection will, will be on there. And get subscribed so you don't miss out on new videos on a Monday and a Friday, definitely Wednesdays if I can. Select Saturdays for Fallout 1 and Formula 2, and about every month or so, WW2K pay-per-view events with the SmackDown and Raw episodes in between, the results being posted on Twitter and Instagram, so definitely give me a follow so you don't miss out on any of that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.